Hello, welcome to Lisa Horton Crafts YouTube channel. My name is Claire and today I'll be making this anniversary card with you. I'll be showing you the technique of how to create your own glitter card using embossing powder. Now Lisa does have her own Euphoria glitter card, but if you don't have any of that available to you, then you are able to create a similar effect using um, Lisa's super fine sparkle embossing powder. I'll also be using Lisa's nested heart dies, Lisa's large stitched numbers, the 3D embossing folder, the prism, and to create the sentiment, I'll be using Lisa's Builder Sentiment Collection. So to create ourselves a sheet of glitter board using embossing powder, I would suggest taking a piece of card, um, Lisa Horton Super Smooth card, or something with a good weight behind it, about 250, 300 GSM white card stock, and cut it so that it fits the largest die that you'll be using in your project. You'll need to take your clear embossing ink and you'll be using the direct to paper technique by taking your ink pad and covering your piece of cardstock entirely with the ink. So you need to swipe your ink pad over your cardstock until the surface is completely covered. And although you're using clear ink, when you direct this towards a light source, you can actually see where the ink has been laid down onto the card. Now the embossing powder I'm using today is Lisa's. It's the super fine sparkle embossing powder in the silver sparkle. And once you've actually used this, you will see that it's not a flat silver embossing powder. There is um, all sorts of different colours actually coming through this. And it's a super, say it's a super fine, so you get a lovely finish on your cardstock once it's been heat embossed. So if you take yourself a sheet of just plain copy paper or even a tidy tray, what we want to do now is to sprinkle our embossing powder all over the cardstock with the clear embossing ink on. Now the beauty of this technique is that the card will only catch the the embossing powder that sticks to it. So although it looks like you're using a lot of powder in this technique, if you're new to this technique, then you can see that I've, I've, I've been able to catch all the excess powder on the copy paper. So I can now return this to the pot to use at a later date. I would suggest heating up your embossing tool, your, your heat tool, um, just for a couple of seconds before you want to use it on the cardstock. This does actually minimise the amount of time that you need to use the heat on the cardstock. So you can work either from below your cardstock or directly on top. For the purposes of the video, I'll be heating from underneath. You can, if you are heating from the top, then I would suggest working onto a heat proof mat. And also if you're in the interest of safety, obviously we can use tweezers to keep our fingers away from the direct heat. So I would suggest waiting until you see the embossing powder turn before moving your heat tool along to emboss the rest of the sheet. Now 
Now just wait a couple of seconds for that to cool down. Now this sheet is ready for you to die cut. You can see now as I twist that towards the light that this has actually given us a nice solid sheet of what you would otherwise assume to be glitter card. And I'll just bring in a sheet of Lisa's Euphoria Premium Glitter Card Stock. And you can see that it really is a very good substitute if you don't have the real thing to hand. As I mentioned before, I'm using Lisa's Nested Heart, so I will actually run these through the die cutting machine and you'll see that this embossed piece of cardstock does die cut beautifully. So as you can see, when I pull the dies away, the dies have cut beautifully through the embossed powder layer. And any warping that you may have found occurs through the heating of the embossing powder is actually remedied when you put that through the die cutting machine. So your embellishments do come out flat. I'm using all white layers on the card. I'm using a six inch blank card with a slightly smaller matte and layer for the front. I wanted to keep the simplicity to allow the, the beauty of the embossing powder embellishments to actually stand out. I've added a little bit of interest with um, an embossed panel in the background. And for this, I've used Lisa's 3D embossing folder, the prism design. It's worth bearing in mind that because Lisa's 3D folders add so much dimension to the cardstock, if you're using smaller pieces of 3D foam, you may find you just want some extra adhesion on the back of the 3D foam just to give you the peace of mind that your embellishments will stay in place. To keep the simplicity, I shall be stamping directly onto the card. If you're not comfortable with this, then obviously you can stamp onto a piece of cardstock and cut that out and adhere that to the cardstock. I shall be using Lisa's Builder Sentiment Collection and I'm just using the stamps and stamping Happy Anniversary. And to finish off, I'll be using some of Lisa's Super Sparkle Gems. Again, this just adds that little touch of blue, which makes that nice and personal. Thank you for joining me today. I hope I've encouraged you to give this technique a go. If you enjoy watching videos using Lisa Horton's products, then do subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you can be kept up to date when there are new videos posted.